Well, I uh, wanted to give everybody an update on my health. Uh, this last week has been one of the more challenging weeks in my life. I had to prepare for uh, a bone marrow transplant. And preparing for the bone marrow trans transplant meant that I had to take 21 shots. And I gave those shots myself. And I got many other shots. And this is all so that you can harvest my stem cells. And then later on, what happens is after I go through nine days of chemo, they insert the stem cells back into my bone marrow. And so I become healthy again. Well, the first day, I started at 5 a.m. in the morning. I gave myself the last three shots. I was in the hospital at 6 a.m. And uh, I was put on a machine, and that machine harvests my stem cells. Well, that was uh, an interesting day. It was the most painful day of my life. Um, now, you're supposed to harvest almost 10 million stem cells. You can get by with 5 million and minimum 2 million. The first day, we only got 500,000 stem cells. So we we're praying that the second day would be better. The first day was painful. My head felt like it was going to explode. Uh, I was very, very nauseous, but we got 500,000 stem cells, so at least we had to start. So the second day started the same way the first day started. Uh, I had to be at the hospital at 6 o'clock, so at 5 o'clock at my home, I gave myself three shots. I was in the hospital at 6 o'clock, and then I was put on the stem cell machine, and then the stem cell machine starts to pull the stem cells out of my blood. Well, mid-afternoon, the doctor came in and stopped everything and said, we got zero stem cells, and this is the first time this has ever happened uh, in our hospital that we've only received zero stem cells. And so they stopped the whole process. And what that means is that I'm no longer going to have a stem cell transplant. Well, uh, when God closes one door, he opens another. And I'm so thankful that the Lord Jesus, uh, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they know precisely what is necessary for me. And so when I was told that I wasn't able to have the transplant, which would have taken a month and then some time to recuperate after that. I knew that the Lord had another plan. I didn't really want to go through the stem cell uh, transplant. It's a very, very uh, difficult procedure over a month. I didn't want to do all of that. But uh, I also felt like this was the best advice that I had been given, and so I was going to go ahead with it until, until the Lord closed the door. And he said, if I close one door, I'm going to open another door for you. Right, Emma? Right. Yeah. Is that right, Naomi? Yeah. God closes one door and he opens another door. So now we're going to find a new way forward. And I have some ideas about that. And obviously the Lord has been very, very gracious to me. He's given me a lot of health and strength through the chemotherapy. And uh, I want a new way forward for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is, is David's wedding is this week. Mm -hmm. But someday you're probably going to get married too, right? Mm -hmm. You think? Yeah. Yeah. And so I want to be there for your wedding, right? You want me there and I want to be yeah. there too. So I want a new way. I, I want a new way forward. And, um, and so, um, you know, there are a number of... Uh, nurses that took care of me when I was in the hospital. And you know nurses are the most wonderful people mm -hmm. because they take care of you when you're in pain and when you're having a difficult time. But they my, they, they but, know what to do. But my doctor, he was moving to um, um, like the place that Great Wolf Lodge is at huh? in Michigan. Wow. City, and it's really far away from my hospital, so he can't be there anymore. Oh. And he was the best doctor. He was the best doctor. Well, you know what? God's going to give you an even better doctor. But anyway, I had a bunch of nurses, and those nurses were terrific. Uh, Denise took care of me the first day uh, when I got prepared for my stem cell 
extractions. And then Kathy took care of me the next two days. And uh, between the first and second day that night, she prayed for me. And uh, she prayed for God's will in my life. And uh, then Brenda and Sheila and Kizzy, and there are many others in the Aphoricious, Aphoricious, I think is how you pronounce it, the department where they do the extraction of the stem cells. So I'm so thankful for the nurses that took care of me. So now, girls, I got to figure out what am I going to do about the cancer? Pray. pray. Yeah, I'm going to pray, and we're going to beat it, right? We're going to beat the cancer. Yeah. Right? We're going to beat the yeah. cancer, and we're going to do it because we're going to pray. Yeah. Because God can do everything. Yeah. God can do miracles, can he? Yeah. 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 So we're going, to, we're going to pray. We are going to pray. We're going to be praying and praying and praying, and the Lord is going to answer our prayer. And God always knows what's best for us. Right? Yeah. Everything. Whatever he does is perfect. His timing is perfect. Everything he does is perfect. You know, when I took you to the to breakfast and then we went to the store, yeah. you started asking me about what God looks like and everything, remember? Yeah. And we know all about Jesus. We talked about that. But anyway, we, uh, we're going we're gonna to pray. And, uh, you know, a lot of my uh, grandchildren and my, uh, my, my, my brother's grandchildren and... Uh, my family and my sister's uh, children and and, and uh, on, on, on both 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 my sisters Tana and Joby. I got the most incredible brother Reg and then Tana and then Joby. I'm blessed with uh, just the most fantastic family. So we're going to pray. And why are we going to pray? Well, we're going to pray as we said because I want I, I want to be there when you get married, and we know that God alone has the power to heal me. He alone is the one that uh, that has the power to heal Are you me. Are going to pray for your cancer? Yeah, you want to pray for my cancer? That you, you want to do it right now? Well, why don't you just pray for me right now? We can hold our hands and we'll, we'll pray. You want, you want to pray? You want to start, Emma? Okay. Um, dear Lord, please help Uncle Hank and his cancer go away and help him not be in pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for these beautiful girls. And we know they love you so much. And Lord, we do pray that you would heal me of my cancer so that I can serve you. And so that um, we can tell so many people around the world about our God. Our God is a mighty God. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a God that we adore and worship. Our God is a God that we give thanks to, that we are grateful for. And uh, so once again, Lord, we just pray that you would not only uh, heal me so I can continue in ministry, but that you would be with so many people that are suffering all over the world. And thank you, Lord, that Everything you do is perfect and that we can trust you as a God of love and a God of justice, a perfect God that we're going to spend all eternity with. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. What's the last word we say? Amen. amen. You know what amen means? Amen means may it be according to your will. So we always say, not my will, because God knows what's best. Not my will, but thy will be done. By the way, where is God right now? In heaven. Where else is he? With, with us. Yeah, he's in your heart. He's with us. So I want to give you a little update on my, uh, my cancer situation. We're looking for another way forward. God is always faithful. We're grateful for those that support the ministry of the Christian Research Institute, the Bible Answer Man broadcast, or outreaches around the world, and... Uh, Look forward to being in studio uh, the rest of this year and uh, the next year as God continues to give me this incredible strength and peace and comfort in the midst of uh, the storms of life. So look forward to giving you an update in the near future on how I'm doing and how the ministry is doing and people whose lives are being touched for time and for eternity. Only one life soon will be passed. Only What's done for Christ will last. So long for now.